Practicing these things will change your life. First, of course, is self-awareness. Where are you self-sabotaging? What old patterns are you falling into that are not serving you? And what do you believe about yourself and your life? And which of those beliefs is limiting you? Practicing self-awareness helps you figure out exactly how you relate to others, yourself, and the world. And plot twist, we are usually recreating the dynamics we had with our family with other people. And often it's just our own unique brand of dysfunction. So like it's a, it's a vintage family heirloom passed on from generation to generation. So I had this decade long pattern of becoming financially entangled with my friends. Because of my mother's addictions and how she sort of like stole my college fund and my life savings multiple times, I was very driven to succeed, to achieve wealth, and to financially prosper as a survival mechanism. I kept believing that if I had enough money, I could be secure. And this was a message that I carried from childhood, which is pretty great, right? I mean, it has served me well. Not all coping mechanisms are necessarily bad, except that I also took feeling completely financially responsible for others into to adulthood. So the way I got love from my mom was by paying off her debt or funding her trips to Pachanga Casino. So in my friendships, I would try to pay for people's dream projects or hire them for my business. And then these blurred lines of like friends, employee, boss, always ended in disaster because I was recreating this dynamic of just endlessly giving materially in order to achieve love, which is an equation that doesn't work. And with self-awareness, you can identify these patterns that may seem a little obvious to others, but that you're blindsided by. And then you can finally put a stop to them so that you can have healthier relationships. Next, envision who you wanna be and take action from that space. So Atomic Habits says that the best way to cultivate a new habit is to change your identity to align with that behavior. A very simple example of this is like, you envision that you're a novelist, but you never write, or you wanna be in shape, but you never exercise. So you have to change your identity to be that of a writer or an athletic person and then follow through with the actions you know those people take. A more difficult example is like, I've been very anxiously attached and have had really deep abandonment wounds my whole life. But now I'm working on, you know, identifying as a secure person, which means that in moments where I'm fearful and I have to soothe my nervous system, I have to constantly choose trust over control and sit in my discomfort rather than taking a bunch of action to try to make it go away. Whoever you wanna be, if you can envision who that person is and figure out the tangible actions that they take, if you practice that long enough, eventually you will become that person. Which brings me to discipline. Motivation will not always be there to energize you into finishing your goals, but discipline will. Incremental progress is infinitely more powerful than bursts relying on inspiration. Now there are three kinds of discipline active discipline, which is what you need to do in the moment, like eat a healthy meal, limit your distractions, or exercise. You are actively choosing a healthier option for yourself in the now. And then there's reactive discipline, which is controlling your thoughts, behaviors, and feelings when dealing with unforeseen circumstances. Like if you lock yourself out of the house, you forgive yourself and you're like, okay, I know that mistakes have been made, instead of shaming or spiraling. If you're dealing with someone who's really rude, you de-escalate the situation instead of becoming defensive and combative. And then finally, there's proactive discipline, which is doing things in advance to help a future situation. Whether it's creating a to-do list and then prioritizing that to-do list, going to bed on time instead of doom scrolling, or bringing an umbrella with you because it looks like it's about to rain. If you have self-discipline in these areas, you can achieve your goals, handle setbacks with grace, and then anticipate and meet future needs. And finally, Create your reality. Just like how you can create new habits and identities for yourself, you can also choose the lens through which you're going to view life and then mold your reality accordingly. Your life is not set in whatever it is now. The things you were taught are not facts. You can always unlearn them. You get to choose who is in your inner circle, what you do with your time, and where your life is headed. And once you realize that taking full responsibility for your life means that you get to mold it the way that you want, that's when you get to start creating. So like when I started acting, this industry was so racist, you guys. Like it's still racist, but at least we all know it now. You know, everyone's a little more open about it. But I remember one time very early in my career, I was reading for this guest star role on a show and the, the role was in a, uh, an Asian massage therapist, right? And they stopped me in the middle of my audition, you know, and they were like, can you do it with an accent? I was like, fine, whatever, okay, I'll do this stupid accent. I don't even care about this audition, which means of course I booked the gig. 
which is exciting as an actor, but when they sent me the script, I was reading the episode, and my character, this Asian massage therapist, has a scene where she bends slowly out of frame to give the white protagonist a blowjob during his massage. And then at the very end of the episode, she shows up at his house and thinks that they're getting married now. I ended up backing out of the job after reading it, but that is not even close to the worst horror story I have from this industry. Honestly, the amount of demeaning, dehumanizing things I did to pay my bills and just amass credits is truly astounding. But eventually I realized, you know, I don't have to let this be my career. I don't have to be at the whim of casting directors and producers and other writers. I have the power to create. So I started writing roles for myself that I knew I would never be cast traditionally for. I found scripts and pioneered projects where the race of my character was irrelevant because I didn't want to suffer anymore from the humiliation of a director of the biggest movie of my career yelling, why are her tits so small? in front of hundreds of crew members. So when you feel hopeless, just remember, you are not powerless. You always have the ability to create your reality. Even in incredibly dark, awful situations, we have the power to walk away and create something better. I'm Anna Arcana. Thank you to the patrons who supported today's video, and thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. You guys already know, I'm a huge advocate of therapy. It's really helped me grieve my sister's death, heal from my attachment wounds, and just operate from a healthier, more fulfilled, loving place. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service. It's 100% online, and with BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. So to get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy, and then BetterHelp matches you with the right therapist from their network. You can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's text, chat, phone, or a video call, and you can message your therapist anytime and schedule those live sessions for when it's convenient for you. If your therapist is not the right fit for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. And with BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, has more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. You can get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash Akana. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Akana or click the link in the description below.